Hello fellow pirates, a new One Piece live action trailer drop and we're going through all of the hot details in there. So let's go! First of all a nice shot of the Going Merry sailing out from Syrup Village. We see that in the clothes they're wearing. Then these interview sections are very hot, the speeches they gave about the characters. We see here some of the circus tent inside, really cool details. We see Luffy in the background minding his own business. Wow, wow. We see the crescent moon shape beard from the pirate in the background that's appearing during Sanji kicking full body. Also, Sanji wears this ring that we saw on promotional material. The ring has the logo from Zef's pirate flag on it. It's potentially a ring that Zef gave to Sanji. Then we saw a new action scene with Zoro jumping on a guy, swirling around and attack. We see more of Luffy in the background, I love this. Jumping and zack! Really nice. Oh, and they're filming the scenes in the inside of the Mary, essentially. Very nice. This is very likely to be the bar where Soro stands up for a little girl that got him in trouble with her maple. Still, we don't see any scene of Shanks losing his arm. Many people said they will revolt if Shanks doesn't lose his arm. I think, like someone pointed out in the last Opla discussion stream, it feels very weird for the very strong Shanks to lose an arm. Just a monster Luffy can beat on day one of his journey. So yeah, it adds more drama to Luffy's flashback, but yeah, let's see. Also, I love that Matt Owens points out here that he really hopes that the fans will be behind this because Oda Sensei is so involved and they really put their heart into it. Here we got the barrel scene. Very long clips for the barrel scene, essentially. Very cool. Next up, we see this waiter walking towards the camera. I can't make it out, but I think maybe the waiter could be a fishman as well. So that would include more fishmen into other storylines. And I would love this to see even from Barati on fishmen that could be good as well. Or he just has a crazy haircut, I don't know. Then we see a piñata guy in the background. Definitely Moji with the shoes and the head and all. And Kabachi next to him. And Moji holds a shield that says applause on it. So... I can definitely see some scenes where everyone is like shocked what Buggy says or Buggy does and then he holds up a shot, applause! <laughs> and oh, everything, everybody, uh, 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 okay. Love the dynamic here, really. Also, here we see a complete picture of X and Morgan's frame. Also, Sorrow holding back X and Morgan with his sword in the mouth, really cool. And in this point, we hear first sound effects for the gum gum attacks, really cool. That's a close up of X and Morgan. And he really looks really, really good. Then comes the scene where Luffy tells Zoro, if your goal is very easy to catch up, maybe you should aim for a bigger goal. And I really love this. This is very Luffy-esque, but isn't really in the manga or the anime. But it gives you from the beginning the feeling or the mindset of Luffy, how powerful his mindset is. And this is definitely 100% the fight versus the one from the Baroque works. Because afterwards Soro says, nah, I'm kind of on my own and confirmation on that. This is the scene where it says it. So this is the scene in the bar where Soro helps out a little girl. Nami will be there to steal something. Luffy and Kobe will be there to witness this. After this scene, they Luffy wants Soro in his team, so... So Zoro comes in with a whole sack of something. And here we got a great frame of Helmepo. Not with shitty haircut, but more like the Prince Charming haircut, I would say. And yeah, I really love this, that he looks like a prick here. And yeah, free swords? What's free swords? Okay. And here we see a picture of Luffy and Kobe witnessing it. And then I love the scene where Zoro puts his sword in his mouth. And Luffy points out, ah, there goes the sword. And I really would love to see Luffy for a half an episode wondering about how he will fight with three swords because you only know that because it was pointed out by Helmepo previously. Then he just brings up the fan theory that Zoro could have a fourth sword in his butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that would be really funny. And this is definitely a scene of Nami in the same bar. We see a marine here and we see Zoro in the background. Zero village and Nami is looking for something. Maybe she's going through Kaya's house to steal something. Would be funny. And here they got attacked by Garb. I guess after the arc because Usopp is on the ship. They have the ship. Everyone wears the same outfit from the arc. Then Luffy says, yeah, let's fight them back. Usopp shoot on them. 
and Usopp says something like, yeah, maybe we just flee. This is a very great moment. I think this will be with the smoke in the background when Luffy crushes down Arlong Park. I would really love to see that. The relief on Nami's face really awesome. This is the scene where Luffy says, shoot back, and then Usopp in the fog. And I think Nami could use her weather prediction power essentially to sail them into a fog. Why not using weather currents to flee from the marines? I would really love to see that. And I love that we see more of the funny side of Usopp that we didn't saw in the first two trailers. Really, really awesome. Also very, very big smile. Then we see Sanji in his cooking outfit and a good shot of Paddy in the background. Really awesome to see these characters come to life one to one. And we all know this is the moment where Luffy thinks, okay, I like this guy. Let's take him for a ride and get him on my crew. <laughs> then we see a picture of Yasop. Look at that. He definitely has the afro, the bandana that says Yasop on it. So this is on Shang's ship. Then this scene where the lights point towards the crew and Buggy and then Buggy says let's head right to the main attraction and I think this is their way of saying okay we wrap the story up so it is faster than in the manga and the anime so we can keep on <laughs> I really love this kind of concept then so they get into a feud or something like that let's skip to the good part essentially here you can see Arlong Park even has a water slide <laughs> that would be really awesome Man, I want to go to Arlong Park. So hopefully there someday is an amusement park. It includes Arlong Park. <laughs> that would be awesome. And this scene where Luffy grabs Kobe could really be after the Usopp arc. Before they get chased by Gar. But hmm, I don't know. The clothes don't tell me anything. I think the scene from the camera and the building behind them looks identical to the scene where Luffy looks into the sun. I don't really know where to place this, but somewhere around this. And this was everything new from the third One Piece live action trailer. I'm really excited. It's just 10 days before it releases and I'm so hyped for this. I will definitely make reactions and breakdowns and stuff like this. Please write in the comments what you expect from me as videos. We will definitely do easter eggs and such. Thank you for watching and let's set sail.